this one. Oh, this is called an kangaroo apple. Okay, you can eat this, but you can't eat it green. It has to be orange, or else it's poisonous. Okay, so you have to eat it that color. Mm. Yeah, it's related to tomato. Yeah, I don't know that one. There, strong current. There's some sun outside. Okay, so this is the Golden River. Okay, so when they were talking about the deep leads, and this is a type of environment that would have could have gold deposits deposited in it. And you have a lot of quartz. These don't look really mineralized. Uh, they look quite white. So it means they're probably just um, silicon oxide. Uh, yeah, but this river is probably a bit too probably goes a bit too fast for it to be a deep lead but you know you got this type of environment with a lot of quartz uh, so gold can be deposited here if you know these rocks can be deposited gold has a higher density so it's a lot heavier so you know a gold probably that big will be about two or three times as heavy uh, I don't know I don't have any information to compare the densities of both. Uh, I'd need to do that at home. But you've got a lot of sand as well. So there's no silt. Does it? Uh, there might be some silt. Uh, but there is definitely no clays in this water. So the, the energy just in this part is a lot... is a lot stronger. So it can actually carry the, the silt and the clays away. So if you're looking for gold, you can probably pan here. Definitely a lot of quartz. And if you know anything about gold deposits, uh, they're usually found with um, quartz reefs. And this is because of mountain building. So this is it. Yes, yeah. Sorry, someone's staring at me. They're going, who's this idiot? 
in a minute. Sorry. But around here is the actual granite. So uh, this quartz might have come from the granite. I haven't actually seen it. So we'll have a look at that in the next video. So the reason why I don't think this is from the actual granite, which pretty much makes up the mountains on. So you've got mountain peaks on that side. Oh, where are the mountains? Anyway, yeah, the mountain peaks are over there, covered in dense fog. Because you've got large quartz crystals, uh, large quartz, uh, and... I don't think that a large quartz crystal would form like this in the granite. And also, you have a lot of, looks like mudstone and siltstone. I don't see any sandstone. So a lot of this has have a sedimentary rock. And piece de la resistance. Okay, there. Is this rock. So you can see you've got a siltstone that has a quartz vein in it. So this is quite small. It's about 4 millimeters. Uh, so that indicates this... Oops. That indicates this quartz is derived from mountain building. Okay. Yep. There you go. So quite rounded. So this has been transported from upstream. Could also be... Uh, derived from the sediment I think the granites go all the way upstream quite a way so this would have had to travel quite a distance to be deposited here and there's a large quartz crystal right there quartz rock not crystal God, I keep on getting myself confused uh, Alzheimer's is a bad thing so yeah, looks like a lot of, yeah, more mudstone. So, and these quartz veins that you can see in the sedimentary rock, they can be like, you know, sometimes they can be like a meter wide, depending on uh, how long it actually took to form. But most of it's actually um, quartz. Quite nice. Gets shallow to about there. And it gets deeper. And as you can see the current out that way is quite fast. So I wouldn't be swimming in there unless you want to be taken down river. 